They call it the HP Omen Transcended, and in this video, let's unbox it. I've been looking forward to them redesigning the HP Omen for a couple of years now, to be honest. We've seen laptops moving towards thinner and lighter chassis, and over the past year or two, the Omen has stayed its original thickness. Uh, when the HP Victus came out to replace the HP Pavilion, the Omen and the Victus shared a very similar chassis, and I was wondering if they were going to make some upgrades to the Omen to really set it apart. I love what they did with the Victus, it was a great improvement over the HP Pavilion for a budget-friendly gaming laptop, but when I saw the HP Omen didn't change much, I've been really hopeful for some changes, and we are going to see it in this laptop. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now, and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. Looks like the box I am receiving comes with some headphones. I cannot guarantee that yours will come with gaming headphones. So make sure you check the listing when you go ahead and order um, to see if yours comes with headphones or not. Now, going ahead and pulling the laptop out of the box, we will hopefully find the charger underneath. And we'll see what kind of charger block we have with this laptop. There we go. Looks like we have a 280 watt charger block. Now, the model that I have before us has the Intel i9 13900HX and the RTX 4070. So this thing should really pack a punch and show off some incredible competition for both the Asus Republic of Gamer Strix Scar and Lenovo Legion Pro 7 and Pro 5. I'm really excited to get this thing benchmarked. So make sure you keep an eye on the channel to check those videos when the full head-to-head -head benchmark reviews come out. As you can see, there's the package that you'd be carrying around a 280 watt charger block with the HP Omen Transcendent. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the sleeve. Pulling it out of the sleeve for the first time, the HP Omen Transcendent has a really nice rounded edge style this year. They got rid of those really sharp, hard edges. It is definitely thinner and lighter, and this is an all magnesium alloy chassis, and that makes it substantially lighter than last year's model. And man, talk about thin comparatively to the HP Omens of past generations. This thing definitely got an improvement this year. Checking out the ports, you can see on the left side panel, we have two USB type C's and a headphone jack. On the right side panel, we have one USB type A. On the back of the chassis, we have our power connector, network port, HDMI, and USB type A. So we have two USB type A's and two USB type C's on this laptop. I really can't get over how light that is. That is fantastic. They've gone, like I said, to an all magnesium alloy chassis and that has really made a difference. Let's go ahead and check out the assembly of the laptop. You can see that it is assembled well, no catchy edges. The bottom cover fits nice and deep into the side panels and we'll definitely be taking off the bottom cover in just a little bit. Check out the upgrade path and see what the internals look like. We have a big open vent here along the bottom. You can see there's a fan on the left and the fan on the right, as well as the heat pipes running through the laptop. That even, from, from the sound, sounds like magnesium alloy as well. Sometimes brands will do aluminum or magnesium alloy on the solid pieces of the laptop component, but then if they have like these vents, sometimes they'll make these plastic. But by the sound of it, 
that sounds like a magnesium alloy as well. So they did not chintz on quality. I'm really happy to see that with this model. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the HP Omen Transcendent, you can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, as always, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, keep in mind that the model I have before me is around the $2,359 price range, and that is with the mini LED display. So if you want the mini LED display that they're rating at up to 1,180 nits of screen brightness, you're going to be at that price point. Now, regarding fingerprints on this laptop, I will say that's one thing that is going to happen. As you can see there, I have pretty oily fingers and uh, they are definitely showing up with some fingerprints on the laptop. So make sure you bring a nice microfiber cloth along with you if you wanna keep your laptop looking really clean. All right, let's see what kind of flex we have on the top cover. I would say quite a bit. You can see it, it divots there quite a bit in the center. As you get towards the outside, it does not as much, but there's a little bit of a push on that top cover. We'll do a little tap test and you can even hear in the tap test it kind of rattles as it divots down and the bottom cover looks good on the bottom cover but definitely some give on that top cover there okay one thing that drove me crazy about the hp omens in years past but they are saying they have fixed with this new hinge configuration is the screen flex so let's see how that screen flex is doing this year Uh, it's 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 a I'd say it's better, but it's still pretty flexy. So better, but still flexy, and uh, still quite a bit of screen bounce. So something they could keep working on. To be totally honest, I love to give as honest reviews as possible. Still pretty bouncy, still pretty flexy. Um, and then we have a manual cutoff switch for the webcam, which we have not had in years past. So that is super nice. Now the actual look into the laptop here looks very, very similar to years past. The keys are still nice and quiet. They don't really have a soft touch feel. Uh, they are more of a hardened plastic material. Trackpad sounds great. So still a great keyboard and trackpad combination. Um, nice and large trackpad, something I really like about the Omen series. This definitely looks bigger than the Lenovo Legion Pro 5, which I've complained about a lot. So it's nice. It's probably the big, big bonus of choosing the Omen is going to be a nice large trackpad. It's quiet, has a really nice responsive click. Just, just a great setup. Now you can see we have our little extra set of keys over here. I find those helpful. You can jump into the HP Omen Command Center. You can go ahead and jump into your calculator, print screen, page up, page down, home, and then you have your dedicated uh, arrow keys over on this side, which just make it really nice for navigating through your laptop as well as, of course, gaming. Though I'm not a gamer, this is a channel for creators. I do know so many creators like to game on the side, and I totally get that. And you have a full size shift key on the right side and left side, so you're not going to, you know, hit backspace or over arrow, which always drives me crazy. And you can see the actual space bar here is set a little bit lower than the rest of the keys. So overall though, I really like the keyboard setup. And then one thing I wanna do is go ahead and jump into the HP Omen Center because they now say that they have an eco mode, which would definitely help with battery life. They're saying that this laptop's gonna get much better battery life than in years past. They've given it a bigger battery as well as the mini LED display and the LED displays are definitely more power efficient. So combine that with the eco mode and we could have a really good winner here for battery life. Now, before jumping into the Omen Gaming Hub, this laptop does have a webcam on the top bezel and here's a quick sample of that for you. This is the webcam on the HP Omen Transcendent and a little sample of the audio for you as well. All right, now jumping into the Omen Gaming Hub, you can see here, we do have an eco mode. Um, so that I'm fingers crossed hoping that gives us better battery life than we've seen in years past. So the Omen has been improving over the years. I wanna see it you know, really kind of jump up its game with this model. Now, one thing that I do notice though, is that if you look at the graphics switcher, you have hybrid and discrete. You don't have the ability to go to iGPU mode. You don't have the ability to turn off the dedicated GPU according to the Omen gaming hub. So keep that in mind that that will keep you from getting possibly the best possible battery life with this laptop. I think if they would add that feature that could give us a little bit of extra time on the battery life, but I'm excited to test out the eco mode during the full review. Once again, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability as we're about to turn this laptop over and check out the internal components, you head down in the description below and click those links. Of course, if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission. 
but at no extra cost to you. Now, as I pull the bottom cover off of the laptop, we reveal the 97 watt hour battery. This battery has gotten bigger this year, as I mentioned earlier in the review, and it used to be around a 70 watt hour battery. Now, they've given us a bigger battery and that's taken up more room in the internals of the laptop, which means we only get one M.2 slot. As you can see, no other M.2 drive is available, unoccupied or occupied. So keep in mind that this will be the drive. You will have one. Now, you do have access to your RAM to make a quick and easy upgrade for your RAM. The laptop I have before me here comes with 16 gigs of RAM, but of course you can upgrade this to 64 if you were to so choose. And that will help in Photoshop, After Effects, and video editing to get more RAM in the laptop. So the upgrade path is good with the RAM upgrade and you can upgrade your Wi-Fi card and you can upgrade one of the M.2 slots because there is not a secondary, but it's not necessarily great. We actually sacrifice an M.2 slot for a larger battery, which could pay off. I'm excited to check the benchmarks once we do the full review to see if the improved battery life was worth this larger battery. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase and click or tap the screen for here for more videos about the HP Omen and helping you out with your buying decisions. I'll see you here in the next one.